Wanting number four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is what I want to share with you. Men and women. My mother told me this one. I was about to be engaged. It was a young man. He was my first boyfriend. He had a golden heart. But he had the brain the size of a pea. And my mother had made the mistake. Now, this is her story. I'm not telling it because I didn't know him. But her first husband, according to her, was not very bright. Let's just say that. And as a result, my mother wanted to warn me not to fall into the same problems she fell into. So she talked with the boyfriend. She talked with me, both separately. And when she talked to me, she told me this, and this is what I'm telling you. If you are not compatible intellectually, it doesn't mean that you're all that bright, but you don't want somebody that's got half the brains you do. You will grow to hate them. You will find that after a several months or several years, there is no conversation that makes any real sense. Because when you first started out, you were young, naive, and excited. But when the excitement wears off and reality kicks in, you don't want to sit there and wonder, did you marry a moron? Then you begin, this is what my mother tells me now, then you begin to hate them. You begin to resent them. You hate the very sight of them because you realize you're locked into a stupid situation that you didn't even have to walk into. But then you have kids and that locks you in more because you want your kids to have both your mother and father. And the father may be a real good guy, but a real dum-dum too. And all the weight of the world is on your shoulders and you got to make things happen because they don't know how. Yeah, I noticed after a year and about three or four months that my mother was correct about that brain thing. Because when I started really listening to his conversation, and he talked a lot, he was sweet, he talked a lot. But the conversation wasn't about anything. And I started to get disgusted. It wasn't because I was all that bright. But I could honestly say he probably had about one-fourth the brain power. He couldn't read. He didn't have common sense. And there wasn't much I could learn from him other than how to be a good driver. He was a good driver. That was about it. What do you want from a man? And men, what do you want from a lady? Do you want a lady that's going to embarrass you in public as soon as they open their mouths? Do you want a lady that makes you cringe when she starts chatting with your friends and your peers and associates? Think about that. She may have everything in all the right places. But don't forget this. Without that, you don't have much. You might as well just pay for a prostitute if you're looking for good sex. Because without this,